Frankfurt, unlucky last week. They were trash, but they were unlucky. They were killed by a phantom penalty from the referee, who I do believe is up... Uh, is going to be investigated for, uh, or, or he's going to be sponsored by Specsavers because they were 1 0 up with 15 minutes ago and he gave Bockham a penalty that means we're going to see 65 penalties per game now. I, uh, I think you Frankfurt. watched another game, man. I think that you watched another game. Yeah, that penalty. Okay, talk about the penalty. Oh, 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 hold on, mate. I, you think I minutes. watched another game, but you're going, to, you're going to agree with the statement I made. I, I agree with the penalty, well, but that's all I asked. They were. They were one nil up with 15 minutes like to go. Three goals. One nil up with 15 minutes way to go. The way Bochum outplayed them, it was crazy. Frankfurt should have scored two in the last five minutes. Alex. Oh my God! How far should... down that? How far down Bo... that keg of beer was you? Bo <laughs> you, you, you forget. You forget. Half, I watch man. these games at seven o'clock in the morning. <laughs> ah, For you, right. it's four this o'clock right. in the afternoon. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? You don't even know it was actually Frankfurt you were watching. Only this and, eye you had is open, like that at yeah. 7 o'clock. Oh, oh, exactly, no. at 7 o'clock yeah. in the morning, yeah. And that would have been probably my sixth game of that day as well. OK, anyway, listen, uh, let's not digress. Frankfurt, plus 105, hosting Freiburg, who are plus 240. The old Freiburg would have been maybe favourites in this game. The under or over is set at two and a half, which I just cannot believe. The over two and a half is minus 122. This could be 3-1 to Frankfurt. This could be 3-1 to Freiburg or Freiburg maybe 2-2. Two, two. It just could be anything. The draw's a runner at plus 270, but if it's a runner, I think it could be 2-2. Two, two. Um, Alex, you go first here because Frankfurt have got good pace. Frankfurt are probably the better side, but neither, neither are able to keep the back door closed at the moment. Yeah, I think that Freiburg uh, were very unlucky last week uh, to, to lose against Dortmund, and only that uh, red card uh, uh, made it happen. Uh, he is the one to blame Hoffler, and he will miss that game, this game against uh, uh, Frankfurt on the road. Both teams played uh, uh, in uh, the European competitions. Obviously, Freiburg, uh, the better side last season between the two, uh, won against Olympiacos Pireu in Europa League, while Eintracht Frankfurt in uh, uh, the Conference League 2-1 against Aberdeen. So a bit of a bit of a plus for uh, Eintracht because they had a less difficult match and they played at home uh, where they will play also this game. But I will never back Eintracht at plus 105 uh, just for these reasons. Uh, this... Uh, a game should have goals. I think that uh, both defenses are very weak right now. Um, it's it's do is it's uh, it's like they are very balanced. These uh, these teams. I and I will and I will not put anyone out of the draw here at plus two seventy. Uh, to be honest, I don't know where you find the value, but uh, I will only watch this game and uh, a cheer for you again. Also, I cheered for you last week. Uh, when you had the Eintracht Frankfurt, uh, we said to you before, don't take it, Flash, but you are stubborn as you were as a player. And you you wasn't that. cheering for me. That is an unbelievable lie. You was not cheering for me. You me? were celebrating. Oh, wait, you were celebrating when Pockham scored because you sent me a message going, oh, Frankfurt, frankly, you were unbelievable. You are so sick, But s we told you, we want, to, we, we, we want to convince you a flash. Don't take this banker. Where is your head? Sick. They are oh, the, the fourth week of man. the season. Sick, man. You're a sick man. And you know me, I'm not the type of person that will wait and be patient and retaliate at a later date. I'm not that type of person, you know that. Uh, Frankfurt, Freiburg, Pavlos. Looks like goals. Uh, Frankfurt's defence has kept only one clean seat uh, so far in the season uh, against Darmstadt. So, you know, uh, not a very good offense, uh, not a very good defence. And Darmstadt, if you ask me, they could have scored in that match. Uh, Freiburg coming, actually both teams coming off um, uh, matches uh, yesterday, Thursday in the Europa League and Europa Conference League. So there's that. Uh, there's bound to be some tiredness, some rotation. So um, whatever uh, stats we have, if you base your uh, decisions on stats, might be a little skewed this week because uh, it's not the same team that plays every weekend. They, they switch it up a little bit. Um, but Freiburg, yes, but bad defense as well. Uh, considered two goals against Olympiacos, which... Uh, okay, it's not that bad, but it's not that Come good on, either. Yo, what what uh, what team do you do you support in Greece? 
Παναθηναϊκός. Α, Παναθηναϊκός. Είμαι με τον Παουκ, είμαι με τον Παουκ, γιατί έχω έναν κόσμο. Δεν ξέρεις, έχω ένα show να κάνω Okay, uh, each of the last, what, uh, eight of the last ten matches in this venue had both teams to score. Most of them had over two and a half goals as well. Uh, there is absolutely no reason for that change. Uh, I don't think Frankfurt are going to simply suddenly start playing defense. Freiburg are not scared. Yes, they're going to miss uh, Hoffler. I think they have a Hoffler and a Holler. They both scored in the previous match. Uh, Grifo has been a revelation for them last season. He's a bit quiet this season, but he did... Um, He came in as a sub last week, uh, 28th minute, dished out two assists in the stoppage time of the first um, of the first half. So I think Griffo is going to be a, a game changer here. Uh, yes. With Griffo in this lineup, I think they're going to hurt Frankfurt's uh, defense. But uh, you know, this this again, this looks like goals. Uh, this is a match where I didn't personally get involved, but uh, if you put a uh, you know, uh, if if he forced me, I would take the goals. Now. Um, Maybe the over two and a half goals on its own at minus 122 is a is a good you know a good um, a good choice, but I wouldn't be surprised if any of these two teams uh, scored you know scored twice and it's a two nil win for either side. So the over two and a half looks like the way to go here. I don't want to complicate it. Uh, I don't have an official play here, but good luck to anybody who does. Excellent, excellent. Thanks for that. Uh, yeah, listen, Zug in the chat's come up with a good one. He's gone with Freiburg. Draw no bet. Uh, plus 150 for me. I'm not complicated. I'm actually going with both Alex and with Pavlos is false. I've took their ingredients and I've stuck it and hopefully it'll make a nice cake because my official pick is actually over two and a half goals at minus 122. See, the boys are getting through to me. Um, it's nice that they're holding my hand and walking me down this Bundesliga road. Now... We'll be right back.